welcome to today's episode of Ready Steady Bake. Now I've got an exciting recipe for you today. Let's have a look. We have meat quiches and flan pies. Just that here. Now of course you need your special ingredients. You have your cup of jelly, which are always important. Your egg shells along with a few full eggs. You've got your sugar. Your flour, whoop, whoopsie daisy, and the chocolate wrappers for the extra crunch. You've also got your leaves here and your twigs separated, no big whole ones, you know, you want it to go down smoothly. You've got your peppers, but we don't want the outside, we want the seeds in the middle. So be careful not to throw those away. You need your scara, you need your cheesecake mixed cardboard, you need your vinegar, John Smith spear, butter, and a few other special surprises along the way. Okay, now all you need is your wooden spoon and your large mixing bowl. Right, we're going to start with some flour. Now we want about three spoonfuls, large spoonfuls of flour in the bowl. Make sure it's all in the spoon. Give it a quick stir, clockwise if preferable. Next we're going to add two eggshells. Now I want you to crunch these eggshells nice and hard, so they're nice and thin, and rub them together. So like little flakes. Mm. Really good for when you get a nice big crunch at the end. Right now, once you've done that, mix those in. Lovely. Oh, I'm getting excited already. Make sure it's all smoothly done in and in all the corners. Now you add your cup of jelly. Now don't be shy, add it all in. It's going to be a bit hard to get out, it's a bit stiff. Oh, God. Here it goes. Spoon it all out. Mm, smells divine. Right, remember to get in all the corners and flip over the sides, get a nice good stir. Doesn't that look lovely? Keep on giving that good, nice mix. We want a nice, lumpy consistency. The key to this is lumpy in this one. It's beautiful. Now we need to get sugar, use a spoon, and instead of sieving it all evenly, we're just going to dash it. We want three days and dash. And perfect. Give it a nice little stir. Now, we're going to leave this, put this to the side. Next, we're going to chop the pepper. Okay, now for the pepper bit, you have to chop away the sides, because remember, all we need is the seeds and the stalk. The stalk I find always gives it that extra little kick at the end. Right, so this is all we need, is these bits. And just want to chop that up nice and fine, and that's done. Oh, it smells gorgeous. Just put that in. Perfect. The rest of it, we don't need. Fill that to the side. Again, give it a nice, good old mix. Coming along nicely, I should hope. Now stop. Before you do anything else, you need to preheat the oven. So now I want everyone to put on gas mark four. Okay, now you need your sticks, the most special ingredient of the flan. One, two, three, four, five. Do you know what? Let's put them all in. Oh, nice old crunch. Now this, guys, I'm getting quite excited with this. It smells gorgeous. I just need to stop and have a look at this. Oh, fab. Now next in the recipe, you need your leaves. Now we've chosen autumn leaves because we like the colour that gives the flan. But you know, preferable, you can have green ones. So we'll dash in a few of the autumn leaves. Give it a nice old mix. Put a few whole eggs. Give that a little mix as well. And now we need our John Smith beer. Right. Crack open the beer. Oh, there you go. Depending on how much you like your beer, half a can. Well, I'm going to go with a whole can. Let's get crazy. Three, I am excited. Okay. Now we need a sprinkle more of sugar. Just sprinkle it on top of the beer. Whoops. And we need our dash of vinegar. Mmm. Fabulous. Now for a bit of spice, this is a special ingredient. We need some chocolate wrappers. Oh, smell it from here. Now let's give this a little test. So we'll just dig in your finger, fry it in. A bit nice old. Mmm. Fab. Needs a bit more of something. A bit more, right, this. Now this is a special ingredient. If you look in the cookery book, it's number five, but I won't tell you what it is. You should know, and pull that all in. Mm. Let's 
give it another little lick. Get your finger right in there. Mm. Fine. Right, next on we need our cheesecake mix. So rip down these tiny little pieces. Just the cardboard, not the mix. We'll throw the mix away. There's no need for that at all. Just rip it up. Little pieces. So it's all covered. I like to cover the top so it makes a nice crispy little bake when I put it onto heat. Once that's done, no need for the mix, we can put that to the side and give it another little quick stir. Now next is the most important ingredient, spit. Right now, wake it up at the back of your throat, collect it at the front, and oh, perfect. And give it a good old stir. Now next you need to bring it to the boil. Right now pour the mixture into the pan just so we can bring it to heat. So all the flavour and all the lovely juices and that special spit will come up. Now leave it to boil for 10 minutes. Put the lid on and go prepare your other greaseproof tin. Now once it's brought to the boil, you should give it a couple more stirs. Just make sure it's all mixed in. Now, once it's been brought to the boil, put it back underneath. Add a few bits of flour to thicken it up. It's actually fine. I find the sticks draw out a lot of water, making it a bit watery. It's hard to obviously pour in the bowl. Once you put that in, give it a few stirs, thicken it up because of the sticks. Mmm. Good old stir. Anti clockwise, I find this time. It's easier. We used earlier, remember the lid and just pop it on the bottom of the tin just to give that extra flavour. I find it helps. Okay, now tap, give it a little quick tap and just pour the mixture in. Ah, oh, beautiful. Now, all you need to do is add a couple of sprinkles of flour on top. Again, thicken it. Now, next, add the Brillo pad. We need to break it off into little pieces, just put it on top. This will help but when we decide it's cooked, it'll go nice and brown and really bring out the flavour. So just cover it up on top and add a leaf just to sweeten it. Now, once you've put it in your dish, pop it in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. Lovely. It's been 25 to 20 minutes. Get ready to take your dish out. Mm, smells lovely. It looks lovely too. It should be nice and crispy at the top as well. The dish should be lovely and brown. Underneath, just so it doesn't burn, it's quite hot. Now we've just got a few little finishing touches just as a surprise for you. Remember the mixture we made earlier? Just want to get out that egg. Now we want a lovely clean egg, we don't want no dirty eggs. Lovely and clean, give it a good old wipe. Perfect. Now put the whole clean egg on top of the mixture, just in the middle. Now next, there's a salad that I prepared earlier that would go alongside the dish. I kept this as a surprise, but you'll find it in your recipe book or on our website on www.homebaking.com. Just put that there. And now your meal is ready to serve. Now this is the perfect recipe to surprise friends. 